Okay, I know we said we were gonna be pretty lax with the roommate rules, but Zach's kind of been getting on my nerves. What do you mean? Haven't you noticed the one thing in particular? What thing? Every time he's in the kitchen, he's wearing that, that hat. <sighs> it is a little weird. Exactly, okay? It's like anytime he's cooking, wearing the hat. It's a bit much, right? I mean, like, I don't care. No. <laughs> Why would we care? No, I mean, like, I don't care what you guys wear. Wear whatever you want. What am I, the fashion police? No. Smiley little fashion pig? Grease yourself up. Roll around on the mud. I don't care. No, eat from a trough. Little, dirty, little smelly fashion hog. Go to the fair. Get judged. Smell, you know, smell like shit. Who, who do we care? What do we care? Win a ribbon. Hog. But that hat. I don't get that hat. We should say something. <sighs> Hi, Zach. What you cooking? Uh, so essentially, it's it's fried rice, but there's some like fusion elements. Speaking going of hats, what's with this? It's just that we've seen you wear the hat so often. We were just curious. I'm cooking. It's a chef's hat. Yeah, but you wear it like all the time. Yeah, I saw you like make a bowl of cereal with it on. I've seen you unwrap granola bars with it. It is a chef's hat. When I want to cook, I will wear the hat. Yeah, but why? Do I? Ask you why you wear your glasses every day? To see. <laughs> okay. Well, if you're not going to talk about it, can I at least see it? Get out! Get out! Get out of my kitchen! What, are you hiding something under there? Are you balding? I need a smoke break. You smoke now? Yep. I have been for a while now, these nasty little things. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, it all started when I was a young little boy. A little boy who so desperately wanted to cook. I would try every day, you know, every day try to get better at it, but I never really had any confidence in it. You know, I mean, oftentimes my mom would come into the kitchen like, No! This no good! You no good cook! You no good son! But this, this chef's hat, this official chef's hat just makes it that much more real. You know, it makes me feel like I can be a good cook and maybe, maybe great son. So it's like a confidence booster. Like an ego thing. More or less. Can I try it? I just need this bad boy. What do you think you're doing? It's my turn with hat. What the hell do you mean, my turn? My turn. We have a schedule. We have a schedule? Look, I, I don't care about the schedule, I just need the hat. I have a date. With a woman. She exists this time, I checked. Just wear your other hat. I'm not wearing that hat! That hat makes me feel awful! You can't keep making me wear that hat. It's not funny anymore. They kicked me out of the bank yesterday. Logan, come in here. Oh, oh hey, hat! Weigh in on this for me, okay? Okay. I need to cook dinner, mm -hmm. you know, make some food. It's vital. Okay. Uh, Hamza has a date, you know, with some hussy, real urchin type. Stop. It's my turn. How often have you two been wearing hat? Every day. Like, every day, yeah. Like have you not seen the schedule? Do you know about the schedule? Does he know about the schedule? He doesn't check the schedule. I tell him about the schedule. He doesn't check the schedule. You gotta check the schedule. Enough with the schedule. Well, it doesn't matter. The date idea is shot in the first place, okay? I was on one the other night, and the girl said that I was very off-putting, and that I shouldn't call her dad, and that proposing on the first date is a little too much. So, yeah, this confidence booster, shit. You know, maybe the real confidence boost was the friends we made along the way. Ain't that right, hat? Huh? 